everybody and here sitting inside the tiny house with my buffalo check hoodie on have my coffee puppies are over on the bed just uh, sleeping chilling out last night it got cold and I, I did light a fire so here's my fire just a little tiny baby fire going I didn't really build it properly but I got it going and it is putting off some heat remember that fan it is blowing hot air off of that pipe and I'm going to close this door in a minute, either that or put the screen in front of it. Um, and I've got more pipe here that's going to give me more heat. Oh, I need to pull that curtain over. And outside, it's working fine. There's no smoke going out of anywhere that it shouldn't be. So, looks like this is going to work, you guys. Oh, I just love a fire. Okay, y'all, it is getting really hot in here. i got to fix that fan. It's off kilter somehow or the other. I've actually had to close the dampers because it was getting so hot in here. And like I always do, I feel the wood around. And I tell you what, it is, it's cool behind this, but out to the side and out to this side over here, it is getting warm. What I need is I need two more pieces just like that one to put here and one to put there um, because off to this side over here it's not really getting warm but I'm a little uncomfortable with the amount of warmth that it's putting off on both of these sides so I need more of that metal sheeting so if you live anywhere near uh, Henderson Tennessee Jackson Tennessee um, and if you have any scrap metal like this, I could certainly use it. I don't know what it is this year that I did differently, but this stove, I even just built a little itty bitty fire. This stove is burning much, much hotter. I can't believe it. I mean, the whole room is, I, I had to crack a window. It's too hot in here. So, yeah, um, until I get the... Uh, more metal, I am going to open up that welder's blanket and just put it all the way across. I don't really like the way it looks, but I think it's going to help um, keep the heat off that wall until I can get the metal. The metal's going to work better, but you guys, this works so good. I don't know. I'm thinking because I brought it further into the room, it's actually further away from the wall than it was the last time, um, but then I didn't have any insulation, remember? And... Um, it was, this stove was basically right against the wall, um, well, this was right against the wall, and it was right against that. Um, no insulation, so there's a little bit difference there, but it, it just makes a huge difference. It's either the insulation and the walls put up, or I did this installation better than I did the last time, because it is toasty in here. Look it, I brought back the smiley face fire screen. <laughs> yeah, and I got a pan of beans. A little pan of beans and some corn and peas and uh, carrots and I don't know what else I put in there. Some ground beef. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? Aw, look at these poor little guys. They're cold. I got them all wrapped up. I'll get them warmed up. That's Sonny. He in particularly does not like the cold. This one here, Junior. Hey, Junior, let me see your face. You want to chew on my finger, don't you? Yeah, I'll get them all, all warmed up. Look at this little boy. He just is shivering. You'll be all right. Oh, come on, Junior. Let's see your face. Look at my sweet puppies. <laughs> Oh, you poor baby. It's like almost 50 degrees out here, but this one is still shaking. He's got less body fat on him than this boy does here. <laughs> he seems unaffected. Oh, that's right. Put your paw on your brother and make him comfortable. Oh, they're just so, so sweet. There's nothing that motivates me wanting to process some more wood then a little bit of cold. Me personally, I would not have burnt that fire last night if it wouldn't have been for the puppies because little Sonny was shivering. So, and plus I wanted to t kind of try it out. 
but basically unless it gets under 40 degrees I won't fire up I will not burn resources um, unless I really really need it but it was you know it got down into the low 40s last night and I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a try fireworks great but um, I can see that I'm going to need more wood lots more wood <laughs> So I'm going to try and get some of that done today. I'm filling these bags. This one, the small one, of course, is kindling wood. And I'm just letting it sit out in the sun. Um, I filled that big bag up from mostly stuff that was in the shed. Because the stuff in the shed is drier. And some more over here. Hopefully these will dry out. Um, I went over there to the wood pile a couple days ago. Oh. Okay, puppies. Please don't chew up all my wood. And the tarp was blown off the top of it, and then it rained. So a lot of that wood is still pretty wet. So hopefully I'll be able to get his kind of dried out, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be building a fire tonight. And then I'm once I get this all filled up, this bag going inside, that bag is going inside. Then I'm going to fill the wheelbarrow with more wood and put it up, you know, where I've stored the others. Oh, these puppies. They're growing. This one especially. He was just skinny tiny. And now he is definitely catching up to Junior. This one has learned to hike his leg when he pees. This one not so much. Ah, oh, they bring me so much joy. These batch of mushrooms are taking forever to dry just because it's been pretty humid the last couple days. But I'm betting that by the end of the day, because there's like basically 1% humidity, and if I keep these out in the sun, that they are going to be dried and ready to put in the jar. I forgot to tell you guys, I ordered this off Amazon. It is just a little tiny bit. It's two feet by 10 feet. Uh, this is Reflectix insulation. It's what I used in the van, and it worked really, really well in the van. Um, I'm choosing this because it doesn't have the fiberglass fibers. It is heat resistant, you know, flame resistant. Um, it provides for radiant heat. It also doesn't, um, it, it's like a good moisture barrier. It doesn't absorb, you know, moisture. Um, and it's easy to work with. So I just bought a 2 foot by 10 foot roll. And I'm going to see if I can get it up on the ceiling and you just basically you can either glue it or you can staple it to the studs which is great because that provides an air gap which is what you need because you still want ventilation up there um, so I'm gonna give this a try and I will likely not put up my ceiling you know with whatever kind of material I'm going, going to use until I have this all installed and see whether or not this is going to be enough because I don't want to tear you know my ceiling down just to put up more insulation if one layer is not enough of this and it, it was in the van it worked really really good um, if one layer isn't enough I will just put up another layer um, I've talked to other people who have used this in their tiny houses and their sheds for their ceilings for underneath the floor and they have said that it just worked really great and I know how to work with this it shouldn't be too hard I just need to get a ladder I don't have a ladder um, so that's gonna kinda hold me back I'm gonna see if maybe some neighbors have a ladder I can borrow or something um, but yeah so I'm going forward with this stuff and but I'm gonna wait and see I'm gonna get this installed and see how it went and if it's something that I can work with then I will likely just put the rest of the ceiling up with this just put some chia greens down there for them. They love it. That's campy. I'm hoping that Big Daddy comes into the sunshine so you can see his beautiful colors. Come on, fella. Look at that. Look at that beautiful rooster. He's got purple. He's got blue. He's got red. Oh, that's going to be one heck of a rooster. Oh, he's big too. But they sure do love these chia greens when they're young. They don't like them when they get much bigger than that, but look at his beautiful colors. Oh, my goodness. Hello, Easter Eggers. 
I threw the same kind of greens down in there for them, and they've all but eaten it up. Get a good close look at these. Look at those tiny little combs. Practically non-existent. They are so gorgeous though, especially Mammal. Come on, Mammal, let me see your face. That pretty face. They're all just gorgeous. I've got the entire van flock out. See? Little babies are out. And uh, so far, Coco's the one that's being the meanest, but um, they're holding their own okay. See how big they are? Maybe if they can get close to one of the other ones. Yeah, Beauty's kind of chasing flame around. <laughs> yeah, they're going to have to... I think they're big enough. I, I'm not going to keep them like this all the time, but for short little excursions... <laughs> yeah, they've been practicing with one another. Um, for brief interactions, you know, until things start going south, I'm going to let them kind of commiserate and get used to one another, and then hopefully let them out in free range. Um, it certainly would make life so much easier on me. See, Coco doesn't eat. This is, that's uh, Beauty and that's Scarlet. She just won't accept anybody. She just won't. Neither will Miss Pris. Roxy, sometimes it's, you never know. But they're doing okay. Look at, they're eating the chia plants. They love them. Yeah, they're going to town. Other than that, I've just been gathering wood, I've been gathering in, bringing in some herbs to dry out, and um, putting some in the jars that are already dried out. Hey, Papa! And, uh, yeah, so that's been my day today. It turned out to be a beautiful, warm, sunny day, but it's going to get cold tonight, so I'm definitely going to light a fire. Don't know what I'm going to cook, but I'm definitely going to cook something. I might bring the oven in and, and bake something, I don't know. Anyhow, well, just another day in the life of Anne's Tiny Life. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.